how's it going, folks? So, I got a few things to discuss uh, in recent events and watch till the end because I am going to bring up uh, one or two points that I don't think uh, enough people have been bringing up uh, so far. So, let's start off with George Decay. Um, go Google his tweet in regards to AR 15s, his most recent tweet kind of inadvertently proved my side of the aisle right. But basically George Decay, you know, said with all the uh, 20 million ARs or something like that in America, Ukrainians could use some of them. You know, uh, and basically, I mean, what he was probably trying to say is that we should ban AR-15s in the U.S. and give them Ukrainians. However, he's really proving that uh, the gun laws in Ukraine were not such a good thing after all. It is really what he's showing with this. I mean, honestly, I mean, I think um, the person who is, say, in their 30s in the U.S. and had an AR-15 since their mid-20s is probably going to know how to use it a bit better than the 30-year-old uh, Ukrainian who's handling an AK-74 for the very first time in their life. Yes, and I do mean AK-74 because that's what I've been seeing in the uh, pictures on the news release with the civilians with rifles. And... By the way, I know a lot of people are going to ask, what's the difference between the 47 and the 74? Well, the big difference is the 47 platform is chambered in 762 by 39, and the 74 is 545 by 39. Yes, I know uh, very similar platforms um, chambered in two different rounds. So, Again, I'm going to leave that tweet for y'all to Google search yourselves. And you should see some of the responses to it, because they are quite funny. Anyway, uh, moving on. There's a reporter um, who wrote an article saying we should restrict guns since we restrict child pornography. Well, there's a big difference between, say, owning a gun and child pornography. You see, to make child pornography, a child has to be sexually exploited. Owning a firearm, uh, it really didn't harm anybody. I mean, me being able to purchase this rifle, uh, with or without a background check, with or without filling out a 4473 um, and all that stuff, Arms nobody. I mean, and even though it'd be illegal, me installing a fun switch in this thing arms nobody, even though, I mean, doing so uh, would put me at risk for up to a 10 year prison sentence. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we already do restrict firearms, and it's obvious why child pornography will be illegal. And I understand that people on YouTube uh, do not like to say the word child pornography in their videos, or at least some people don't. Um, it is quite possible that YouTube censors people over this, which should really be telling right here um, that they would censor somebody for even mentioning the word, even though they're condemning it. But Moving on to uh, the topic at hand, I'm going to post the links to the article that I'm talking about, uh, written by Neil Steinberg. Um, uh, yeah, so obviously, Neil, to answer your question, in order to make child pornography, you actually have to do harm to a child. Um, just like beating your wife, you know, that does harm to your wife, obviously, Neil. 
And by the way, Neil, you would be allowed to purchase a firearm if you hadn't been beating your wife. Just saying. You know. But, alas, I am going to continue on. People like Neil Steinberg, people like George Takai, um, they really are, how do I put this, overgrown children in many respects. This is why their thinking is so messed up. Uh, you know, and they're not the only ones. Recently, uh, the big man's son, uh, well, some photos were leaked of him holding a firearm uh, while naked um, with his finger in the trigger well with what uh, does appear to be a hooker, you know. So, I mean, again, this person, by the way, is also supposed to be a prohibited person, you know. So, I'll leave it at that on this. But the thing is, is that none of these people clamoring for more gun laws are talking about that either. I mean, if you really wanted to support your case that gun laws are effective and we just don't have enough of them and they're not restrictive enough, why on earth would you sit there and give a certain person a pass for violating gun laws on the book? Just doesn't make any sense to me. But that's the thing. It, these people do not make sense. Up until you see what it is that they actually want. Nobody has brought up in conjunction with this debate, hey, wait, fuel prices are up a bit. You know what goes up when every uh, when the uh, when the fuel prices go up? I kind of stepped all over myself there. Everything else, <laughs> there is very little that you can buy on that's not transported in some fossil fuel using machine. Let's put it this way. You know, shipped in, uh, the odds are the ship's using uh, some sort of fossil fuel burning engine. Um, if it was brought in by truck, well, those things also use fossil fuels. Airplane, same thing. I don't know of too many uh, entities that own nuclear powered ships yet. Um, you know, so with that being said, um, yeah, things are going to start getting uh, a bit more and more expensive. Uh, we have supply chain shortages, yet what is the establishment class laser focused on right now? Further restricting rights protected by our Bill of Rights in the U.S. Constitution. That's what their focus is. And it's not to save the children or help the children. This is about making you dependent. This is why, you know, they don't even care to resolve the issue with the fuel prices, the economic downturn, the inflation. They want you to be helpless and dependent on them so they can control you. And that is the point. Thank you all for watching. Y'all take her easy out there and have a great day.